an official change of leadership today for the United States Pacific Command. Yeah, based in Hawaii, it oversees all U.S. military operations from California to Pakistan. KITV's Dan Meisenzahl has the story. Admiral Timothy Keating stepped down today as commander of the U.S. Pacific Command after more than two years at the post. Among the many dignitaries at the ceremony was Secretary of Defense Robert Gates. Leading a military organization in this part of the world requires a deft touch, a diplomat's sensibilities, a scholar's sense of the past, and a commercial tycoon's business savvy. Tim Keating has provided all of that and more. Keating was awarded the Defense Distinguished Service Medal for his work and quoted Thomas Jefferson and Jimmy Buffett in his farewell speech. Kids can play on the shore each day and all are safe with him. It is to that goal that we pledge our lives and our fortunes and our sacred honor. Then came the official change of command. Admiral Keating, I relieve you, sir. His successor, Admiral Robert Willard, has led the U.S. Pacific Fleet at Pearl Harbor since 2007. In his first speech as the Pacific Command's new leader, Willard says he marvels at how much this part of the world has changed in the last 30 years. And yet constant throughout that time was a recognition of the vast and growing importance of Asia to the rest of the world as both an economic engine in its own right and as a major thoroughfare for U.S. and world commerce. Our nation's interests are here. Willard also said that he looks forward to serving the more than 300,000 men and women now under his command. Dan Meisenzahl, KITV4 Island Television News.